<laughs> I love the way he counts. This is Sue Johnson, along with the CEO and president of Caramu House here in Cleveland. And he is joining us here at Wake Up and Live with the Arts, of which I am a host. And uh, we're going to spend a few minutes chatting with Tony. He tells me earlier that you've been here for a year and four months already. Yes. What's it been like, Tony? Welcome to Wake Up and Live with the Arts. Well, thank you, Sue, for having me. <laughs> uh, the last year and four months has been a very eventful year. There have been some ups and downs, some mm -hmm. ins and outs. But as we sit here today, uh, I'm very excited about the accomplishments that we've made, uh, the direction that we're headed in. Um, Is that our camera doing that? That's somebody going out the wrong door. Oh, okay. Well, let's pick up. Um, Tony, you've been here a year and four months now. What's it been like? What have you been up to in this time frame so far? Well, it's been a very eventful year and four months. And I think the thing that I've been up to is uh, producing this first, this is my first full season here. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we just close to repairing a nation. Okay, what's the name of it again? Repairing a Nation was the okay. name of the show, written by Nicole Salter uh -huh. and directed by Margaret Ford Taylor. Margaret's back to directing. Yes, so we okay. had a wonderful run. It was exciting having her mm -hmm. uh, back here in Caramu after 21 years. Wow, I knew it'd been a minute, but that's a bunch of minutes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh -huh. And so um, we're planning our final show of this of this season. Uh, you can't take it with you. Fred Sternfield is. Um, directing that show. Okay. And that particular production will be held at Cuyahoga Community College Eastern Theater. Right. And the reason for that is that our Jellif Theater, or our theater wing, will be going under renovation mm -hmm. beginning at the end of March. Yes. Now that's the big theater, the proscenium theater. For those of you who don't necessarily know it by its formal name, it's not the arena, which is the small kind of black box uh, arena type theater theater which is on the other end of the building and so uh, the renovation is scheduled to start um, when now? Late March. Late March. So, okay. So they've already been uh, the first phase of the renovation was starting at the top and at the top means the roof. Okay. So we have a brand new roof that's on the theater wing of the building and uh, then we will then move into the inside. And what do the renovation plans include? What do, what do you envision is going to be happening in Inside the Jellif as, as uh, part of the renovation project. So we'll start with uh, new seats, mm -hmm. new lighting. But uh, there, will there be space between the rows yes. for people like me who have issues? <laughs> well, we will have space between the rows. There'll uh -huh. be larger seats. There'll be seats that have more space between the rows. We'll be ADA accessible. Hot so, dog. So we're excited about that. Because I'm rapidly that. approaching ADA. <laughs> well, and you know, you and many other Many patrons. Others, yes. And so we want to make the patron experience as comfortable as possible. Yes. So we're excited about that. Um, we will do some work in the lobby of the arena theater mm -hmm. and we'll be getting new bathrooms in that lobby as well. You've done lobby some area. touches already when I came into the arena oh, a couple few months back. Well, in the building itself, you've begun to do some hospitality touches to make it more opening, open and welcome uh, to the public, to the patrons. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sue. I mm -hmm. think one of the things that was important to us was to um, make sure that the patrons uh, felt like the doors of the Caramu House was open. Mm -hmm. You know, the word Caramu means a joyful gathering. Place. Right. And we want to make sure that that experience happened as soon as people walked inside the door. So we put um, uh, new images on the wall. We have our vision and mission statements, but those are in, mm -hmm. in our signature color purple, which you are wearing this evening. <laughs> as it happens, <laughs> yes. And uh, we've added plants to the lobby, live plants, because they help the air that you one breathes. They're beautiful. Thank you. Um, and as well, we have images of productions from this particular season in both lobbies. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have our sh uh, images from our opening show, Blues in the Night, in the lobby of the Jellif Theater. And we have um, images from 
a show called Rashida Speaking in the lobby of the arena. So we just want to make sure people know that, hey, we're doing theater here and much, much more. Yes, and I'm going to be bold and offer just a couple of more suggestions, or maybe you've already addressed them in your whole renovation and upgrading plans. It's speaking of the interior, but the exterior, a uh, couple of things. Uh, are you adding handicapped parking spaces in the renovation phase? And as a patron, I noticed that Caramu, the name, needs to be bigger, more pronounced. The, there are other things that seem to take center stage, like the bank name, uh, so that when people arrive, they can tell this is Caramu. So we will have signage and new landscaping on the exterior of the mm -hmm. building so that you know that you have arrived at the destination. Yes. Uh, and because Caramu at this point is to be a destination not only in Cleveland but in the center of this great community called Fairfax. So that's a part of the plan. Okay. When you talk about uh, ADA parking, uh, handicap parking, there will be designated parking, but it's currently there. You just need to work with, uh, you need to help us with our patrons and make sure only those who are have handicapped stickers park in those <laughs> places. Um, but a ramp will be going out front of the building okay. so that um, to make sure all of our patrons and our customers in the wheelchairs. Yes. In. Yeah. Are you doing wheelchair spaces in the Jellif? Yes, we will. Yes. Okay. There is no reason for you not to come to Caramu when the renovation in the Jellif or the big theater, the main theater, the Proscenium Theater is completed. Will there be a special um, a special opening event or welcome event when the theater is ready for the general public? There will be a number of events leading up to uh, the opening of the theater. So mm -hmm. people should always go to our website, aramuhouse.org, mm -hmm. and check out all the information. But during the renovation project, um, we still will have our administration building will be open. We will still continue to have classes. We will continue to uh, present some performances in our concert hall, mm -hmm. which is on the uh, administrative wing of the building. So now we are alive, we are open, we are doing things during the renovation process. We will have some events off-site, but right. it's important to know that day-to-day -day operations, we're all here uh, welcoming our public and our patrons, and we're selling tickets to all those things that <laughs> are theater and aren't theater. And when you want to find out about tickets, call 216-795- 7070. They have updated their automated voicemail so it'll be much easier for you to get to the right extension for the box office. So, Sue, I do want to say that the box office does have a direct line, and that number is 216-795-7077. That's 216-795-7077. Oh, I'm not sure I remembered that one. Oh, well. <laughs> it was here when I got here. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? That's another thing that in your promoting all the great things, making uh, information easily accessible so that people are really aware of how they can connect with Caramu and the various offices and projects and so forth. Yes, I think it's very important to be able to, people be able to reach us. And if individuals would like to be on our mailing list, please go to our website and there's a portal there where you can leave your information and you can join our mailing list and you will get our e-blast and other information about upcoming events. And another thing, you're talking about you're becoming ADA compliant throughout the building. And I noticed you made a slight adjustment on the ladies' room down by the arena. Yes. So will there be additional uh, restroom facilities in that general area? Or are your upgrades going to be up in the Jella Foyer lobby area? So those restrooms in the arena area will be completely gutted and completely renovated. Uh -huh. Brand new sparkling restrooms in that area. 
making it easy so there are no excuses for coming to CARMU. And another thing, which that goes back a while when you were coming on duty and so forth, what is the status? Any elevators coming in as either phase one, two, three of the overall generation uh, renovation project? In the next generation. No, I just <laughs> <laughs> See, I speak English. I do. I uh, speak English. Yeah. So uh, we will have an elevator at some point. It is not a part of the current uh, mm -hmm. renovation project in the theater wing. But once we get to the main administrative building, we will then be including an elevator. And we're hopeful to, in the next couple of years, we'll be able to launch that initiative. And then we'll be able to access the lower part of the building because uh, and then the upper floor of the building easily where there are classrooms and downstairs oh what was the name of that little stage uh, uh oh the anime's cafe anime's cafe yes because I've done a stage reading there many years ago when I can walk up and down the steps <laughs> you know? See, all of our programming is either on the main theater level or the main administrative level so at this point Coming to Caramu is is comfortable for most of our patrons. So further down the road, there will be elevators so that we can access the entire building and take advantage of all the myriads of projects, programs, presentations, and everything going on here at Caramu. So everything happens on the main floor, so for right now, for yes. now, uh -huh. and so. We're excited about that, but I want to talk about some other programs that's happening that's not theater. And we've been excited. We've had a jazz concert, and we I were missed in, that. you did, and yes. it sold out two weeks in advance. Okay, so we were really do happy. Do it again. Do it again. Well, it's happening in March, and so you should check the website to mm -hmm. for the exact date. We have done comedy show. It sold out two weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to then have our next comedy show on March 11th. Okay, uh, in the Jellof Theater, and. And we have a project with a group called um, 12 Literary Arts Incubator. Mm -hmm. And so over at 12, uh, poets develop their work and then the work is spun off over here to Caramu. We then produce the work and we merge different art forms into it. So this particular merge will be on March 4th at uh, 8 p.m. And we will include it in it as dance, a DJ, and the spoken word poet artist. So we're excited about that. An integrative arts uh, event. Yes. Yes, okay. Looking forward to that. March 4th is? Saturday. Yes. Today is Tuesday. The 28th. That's coming up in a minute, as the expression goes. I wish you had a flyer we could hold up, but that's okay. Um, now, will things be going on in the arena theater during the major renovation, or ha will things have moved from there? So the plan is to shut down the entire theater wing. I see. Um, mm -hmm. And if an uh, opportunity presents itself that for us to get back in the arena before the official grand opening, we, we're, we're eager to do that. But as of now, that the entire theater wing will be closed during the renovation project. You are so busy, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about me. <laughs> I, I don't want to think about what you're <laughs> doing. But I want to commend Tony Sias, the CEO and president, who has made immeasurable, immense strides toward rebuilding uh, Caramu, reconnecting Caramu with the theater community, the Cleveland community, and Caramu is a national level theater. So we want to welcome our national uh, followers, if you will, and invite them to come perform, you know, the actors come perform. And, you know, we even have our Caramu Alumni Association, which is an affiliate of, of Caramu. And we are working in conjunction with Caramu. Peter Lawson Jones chairs that. Yes. And we are working in conjunction with you to bring activities, programs, projects back to uh, Caramu and connect actors. Uh, well, performers, set designers, people, you know, who have some affiliation in the past with Caramu and make sure they're all welcome to come back and check us out. Yeah, as they say, or as we say, this is Caramu 2.0. We're setting the stage for the next 100 years. 
the next 100 years. And on that note, we're going to let Tony uh, begin to close out because he was very busy at his computer at 7.30 at night. <laughs> you know. So have we missed anything, any details about what's coming up at Caremu, the wonderful season that's closing out? There'll be a season starting, the renovation project, the inside, the outside of Caremu's development. <laughs> Um, have we missed anything that you would like to share with our audience and have them aware of the marvelous progress that you're doing? I said just continue to go to our website. Uh, repeat repeat the, the address. And our website is caramuhouse.org. Our box office phone number is 216-795-7070. Two, well, I can't get my numbers in order. Two one six seven nine five seven zero seven seven. Yes, and your last production schedule is not going to be here. It's going to be at Tri C East, which is uh, in the theater building at Cuyahoga Community College, out on Harvard and Richmond Road. And that is you can't. Take you can't it. take it with you. And we just our previous guest was Richard Morris, a former set designer here, and he's designing that show. I believe, if I have that information correct. Yes, Richard is our former technical director, and mm -hmm. he is designing uh, the show You Can't Take It With You for us. Got you. So be on the lookout for that. When are its running dates? Do you remember? Uh, production dates are... I love that blank look. April, <laughs> April 20th through March 7th. No, through May, May 7th. 7th. April, April 20th. 20th through May 7th. But what's most important, go to our website, caramuhouse.org, and I bet you get the correct information there. And if you also call Caramu, the box office, they will certainly tell you. So thank you, darling. And when I see you in the next few weeks, months, years. Yes continue to revive Caramu to not only its former status, but bigger, better, greater, beyond what we already have known, this historic institution for 100 years old of continuous performance by a, now here's the trick, by a predominantly African American company, and I'm going to let you straighten it out, but this was founded by Russell and Rowena Jellif to be a diverse theater community, so it's not just African American, it is people of all cultures who come here to perform, to take classes, to teach, to whatever's going on here. Am I correct? Do I have that right? Yes, it's a place for all to come, create, participate, and be engaged in and through the arts. A place of joyful gathering. Thank you, Tony Sias. Thank you. Go back and type on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you soon. Thank you for having me here, You're sir. You're more than welcome. I love you. I love you And more. tell Kim I said hello. Will do. Okay. Take care. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. There's more at Wake Up and Live with the Arts.